So before I start this movie review, I just want to give a big shout out to IMDb, where I get all my information and fun facts from. The residents of 817 East 8th Street are about to lose everything they have. What do you mean those tenants are still in there? Tonight. I'll have them out by tonight. Nothing in this world can save them. Nothing but a miracle. Steven Spielberg presents a Matthew Robbins film. What's up, everyone? Movie Man and Nick here with another movie review. This time, the movie is Batteries Not Included, which came out in 1987. It starred Hume Cronin, Jessica Tandy, Frank McRae, Elizabeth Pena, Michael Carmine, and Dennis Boutsikaris, and the director was Matthew Robbins. So this movie is basically about aliens help a feisty old New York couple in their battle against the ruthless land developer who's out to evict them. All right, guys, here's another film that I've seen numerous times, and I enjoy it. I like it. It's a good film uh, between the the actors, the actresses, the storyline, uh, the direction it went in, the CGI effects, the special effects was fantastic. It's a good film. I, I recommend to see this. Um, you know, it's basically about these two elderly couple who's been there for years since, I guess, the 1950s. And they own the hotel and they own the diner downstairs at the bottom, you know, the first floor. And then all of a sudden you had this land developer come in in New York that wants to build up new property and demolish it. And, you know, and they're the only hotel that he's trying to get rid of, but they won't give up the two elderly couple. So they hire this person to go in there and try to break things, try to, you know, to break it and um, basically get rid of it. But, you know, and then all of a sudden, the elderly guy, played by Hume Cronin, Frank, and he prays, and then all of a sudden these aliens come down, and they fix it up, and it goes on and on and on from there. And no spoiler alerts. You just have to see this film. It's a very interesting film. It's a very good film. And there's other little, little tiny storylines between the other characters as well who live in the building. So do I recommend to see this film? Yeah, of course. I recommend to see this film. Especially if you're a fan of Jessica Tandy or Hume Cronin or any of the other actors or actresses I've said. Or if you like aliens or robots, machinery, there you go. This is the film to see. But it's it's a good sci-fi movie to best explain it. I mean, you could probably see this film on Hulu, Demand, Netflix, Amazon Prime, anything that's out there. I mean, if you have the DVD or the VHS, even better. And now it's time for fun facts. This was originally was intended to be a story featured in the TV series Amazing Stories, 1985. And that was a good show, too. Also, the black and white photos of Frank and Faye used in the opening credits were real-life photos of Hume Cronin and Jessica Tandy, who were married in real life for decades. The jazz music heard at different points throughout the film can also be heard in Cocoon The Return, which came out in 1988. This I found interesting. In the last scene, just after Frank sees Harry on the top of their building, you can see a young Luis Guzman in the background. And finally, when the mass of flying saucers appears, they are arranged as follows. Unused prototypes in the first row, cast plastic models in the second and third rows, and scaled down cast models in the remaining ones. And that's it, guys. That is my movie review for Batteries Not Included, which came out in 1987. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As usual, smash that like button, support, share, hit that notification bell, notify you when my next video or vlog will be up. Also, check me out on Instagram under the same name, Movie Mini Nick. And remember, stay safe, be excellent to each other.
and party on dudes.